Hey guys, welcome back to another CG Smoothie video. In late March of 2021, I was inspired by watching some videos by the great YouTube channel Mix and Jam. They're known for making detailed videos on remaking game mechanics from popular games. I thought it'd be cool if I did that, so I chose the most pop culture heavy game that I could think of other than Minecraft, because that's been done to death. And that, of course, was the Mii Maker. In proper old mix and jam fashion, I used a Mixamo Y-Bot for the Mii body with some simplifying to the face to make it easier to put the features I wanted on, as well as simplified the body so it worked for both male and female Mii's, or as I called them, smoothies. To contribute to the smoothie aesthetic, I replaced the hands of the Mixamo asset with spheres. The first feature I incorporated to the Smoothie Maker was the ability to turn the smoothie around. It just uses some really simple code, which I'll show you right now in case you want to make this yourself. I added a gradient skybox, much like the Mii Maker on the Wii, which also helped give the Smoothie Maker a more cartoony art style when compared to the default Unity skybox. Now I had to get this target employee dressed, mannequin looking thing a face. I went with the classic default Mii face for my first facial features, but the next time I added a feature, I asked you guys for submissions. Here I'll show off the features I took from this competition, the creators of them, and how they turned out in game. If you'd like to participate in events like these in the future, check out my Discord, link in the description, and while you're down there, why not leave a like and subscribe if you've liked the video so far. It goes a long way to get this video out to others and help this community grow. Only 2% of my viewers are subscribed, so if only a small percentage of you subscribed, this channel could grow a lot. Of course, I also had to add the iconic Mii Maker theme, so I recorded myself a cappella, and it sounds good enough for the 30 or so attempts I made. Anyway, the question you might be asking yourselves now is, how'd you get these PNGs onto the smoothies? Well, I used a technique I've never used before, scriptable objects. Essentially, each feature is an object with data fields for a texture for the material, and if a mesh was involved, like for the noses and hair, a mesh for the mesh renderer. Getting these models for the noses was extremely troublesome, as I had to model it and fix it to the sprite around it, as well as rig it to the armature in my blend file. I may also make a tutorial on how to export rigged models and their animations to Unity in the near future because of these problems. Anyway, I attached those scriptable objects to a face script that can swap them out on the game objects on the smoothie. Now you might be asking yourself, but how do you make it so the face parts can move around and change scale and stuff? You guys sure do ask a lot of questions today. To answer that, I had some trouble thinking about how to do this myself. Ideally, I wanted to do it in code, but because of the way the armature worked, I couldn't change the transform's positions in code. That's when I found the Blend Shapes feature on the skinned mesh renderers. Now, if you do any Blender, you'll most likely know about shape keys, which allow you to change parts of the mesh non-destructively or without changing the mesh altogether. This was how I was able to make the facial features move around, change scale, and rotate. Now that I had figured all that out, the main difficulty of finishing this project was making more features and having good UI to show the player what they were doing. I ended up with 15 eyes, 10 noses, 3 of them without meshes because laziness, 15 mouths, 10 eyebrows, 5 pairs of glasses, 10 mustaches, 10 hairstyles, 5 beards, 10 outfit colors, and 5 skin colors. That means that even with the scale and width out of the equation, there are 2,812,500,000 possible faces on your smoothies. To be fair, the original Meat Maker has more than 88 vigintillion possible commentations, which is 10 to the 55th times more than mine. The Meat Maker is still the obvious winner, which is fine, because I'm just one dude, and that's Nintendo, so I'm proud of myself anyway. I think if I add on to the smoothies, I would want to make a randomized feature and also see if there's a way to format the smoothies to be able to save and work on other games. Of course, the last time I worked on a save system, I did not feel very happy about my life choices, so I'll think real long and hard if I, if I actually want to do that. That's going to be it for this video, and if you liked this video and found it educational or entertaining, please drop a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. As I said, it really helps with the channel. And with that, I'll see you in a week or so with another video. See ya!